Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What's going on, guys? My name is Joe. And welcome back to the uh, for another video, rather. So today we have a top five video, and we're going to be talking about our favorite summer scents. Now, I do love these type of videos because not only do we love sharing, you know, different scents that we like outside of reviews, but also depending on the type of, you know, or I should say, what season we're in during the year. People like all different type of scents, you know, some people like those mintier eucalyptus type of scents in the winter. Some people like the fruitier scents in the summer. Everyone's opinion is different. That's why these videos are so much fun. Right, definitely. And I can't wait to dive right into these. But before we do that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future content. If you like what you hear, tell somebody, have them subscribe to us so we can help them out as well. But before we begin, check out this intro and we'll be right back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So I'm sure you've seen our top five videos before, how it's going to work. I'll give my top five. Joe will give his top five. I'll give my top four. Joe will give his top four, so on and so forth. Um, Like I mentioned before, we may do an honorable mention as well, but let's go ahead and kick it off here. My number or my top, my number five cent as far as summer scents go is by Renewed Man Grooming, and it is Havana Beach. Now you're going to notice a theme with the summer scents that I really like. I like a calmer, even like a fruitier type of scent in the summer. That's just what kind of mellows me out on those nice type of days. So this one actually has the exact scent profile on it. Tobacco, elegant musk, and subtle sea salt. This one, I wouldn't say by any means is an unscented, but it's very, very mild, very calm. I love the scent. Nice. Okay. All right, so my number five is going to be The Big Squeeze by none other than Beards Dignified. And this is going to be your typical citrus explosion type summer scent, uh, which consists of lemon, lime, orange, and the little twist in there is sage. And I really like that sage aspect of it. It is one of those scent profiles where uh, I think Grant from Beards Dignified did a good job because including that sage, he allowed the citrus to stick around a lot longer than normal citrus scents do. That is probably the longest lasting citrus scent that I have. Um, I'm a big sucker for like lemon lime type scents. And when I smell something like that, it just screams summer to me. Uh, So the big squeeze from uh, Beers Dignified is my number five. Excellent choice. All right. My number four is from Bandbox Fella, and it is the remix. Um, If you are a fan of the channel, you would know I love citrus. I love cologne. This is a citrus cologne scent. Before the rebrand, this was described as similar to Fierce from Abercrombie and Fitch. This is just flat out one of my favorite scents in general, but it's great in the summertime. It's very soft, calming, and I love that citrus that it brings during those warmer months. All right. And my number four is going to be Salty Vibes by Bearded Coast. And this is definitely a scent that screams summer because you're looking at like a sour strawberry margarita type scent. And that is exactly what you get with this. So when you uh, have this in your beard, think of yourself on some kind of island type vacation, drinking that margarita you get this paints a beautiful summer picture for you. Uh, Just a scent that I know a lot of people talked about um, middle to late 2020. And I know it's a scent that people are still uh, talking about to this day. Uh, So I was excited to finally be able to get this on video. Salty Vibes is my number four from Bearded Coast. Awesome. Another good choice. All right. My number three is by Jay's Beard Essentials. And it is vanilla chill this is an og in my beard collection i've had this one for a long time love this scent it's absolutely one of my all-time favorites so and i believe this is all of it but it is 
vanilla and mint. So you get that like coolness, that sweetness from that vanilla. And then that back end, that mint just hits you and it's very subtle. It's really just a great scent. And just the name vanilla chill almost describes it perfectly. It's a really great scent. All right. And my number three is another scent that was really big in 2020. Uh, but again, I still hear people talk about, and that is the Tropical Storm Mac by none other than the Bearded Mac. And this is a um, amazingly delicious mango uh, type scent that also includes lime, teak wood, I believe tonka and mahogany, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So you get a good blend of that just fresh tropicalness from the mango, but a nice musk that comes from that mahogany. I think it's an amazing uh, blend. Um, his wash and conditioner is very identical uh, to the Tropical Storm Mac, if it isn't the same thing. Um, and, it's, and it's amazing in the shower as well. Uh, I absolutely love this. I just love how it's uh, a good mix of musky and freshness. Perfect for your summertime. All right. My number two scent is also from the Bearded Mac, and it is the Tropical Storm Mac. Great minds think alike. Joe described it perfectly. When I think of a fruity, I don't want to say citrus because it's not really citrusy, but a fruity, fresh, sitting on the beach, you know, drinking a pina colada type of thing. Doesn't smell like pina colada, but it's just really fruity like that. This is what I think of. It's very unique and it's, it's unlike any other scent that is described this way. That's what it right. That's why it really stands out to me. Um, it's such a phenomenal scent. All right. So my number two is actually, it's a tie. It's, uh, it's, a, it's two cents from the same company. So this is going to be like my honorable mention as my number two as well, I guess you can say. But that's going to be from Fable Beard Company CBD line. And you're looking at the, and I can't even twist them because of the camera, <laughs> but I'll show one at a time. You got the witch doctor and then you got, you got the angler. Man, did I screw that up before? All right. So these scents are just absolutely awesome. And they definitely scream summertime uh, for the angler. It is like a, it's a, it's an oceanic type cologne scent. Uh, your, your typical, you know, just fresh cologne, not musky whatsoever, uh, but just, just so clean, crisp. Um, and it just smells so good. It really feels like you have like an ocean breeze uh, type uh, situation going on in your beard. And then the Witch Doctor is just a super fun scent. It's like a smoked mango. So I just picture myself like on, a, I think of my um, uh, honeymoon when we went to Hawaii and sitting on the beach uh, at night and um, there was a restaurant uh, by us and they had the grill going and I knew that they had some uh, some awesome fruit on there. It just really told that story for me and it was just a great summertime experience. Uh, so I had to include both of those. So, uh, but those are going to be my number two, both from Fable Beer Company. All right. So my number one summer scent is also by Fable Beard Company, but is not either of those. It is the grower. Ah, okay. I absolutely love this scent. Um, I believe the scent profile is fresh apples and oud. I don't pick up a ton of the oud, but the fresh apples, this is, it is just such a fresh, fresh, crispy scent. Oh, it sticks out. It's one of those ones that I, it's very hard for me to walk by and not give a quick sniff out of the bottle. I absolutely loved it. That's the way I felt about it from day one. Absolutely crispy. I would love wearing this one on one of those hot, sweaty days when you like just kind of the little things annoy you. I could smell this one all day. Okay. That, I'm going to say that's an interesting one because that's one that I would choose for like a favorite fall scent. But okay. like you like to say, to each his own with Provolone. Provolone. Okay. Shout so going Steve on Camino. to my number one is a fairly new scent uh, that came out not too long ago. And that's going to be none other than Lost Creek from copper johns now this is a scent profile that consists of mango papaya vanilla bean and leather so when you hear mango papaya does that not scream summer to you this is another one of those scents that you really get a unique 
uh, blend of muskiness and uh, freshness to it. That leather really takes this profile to a whole new level and really does an amazing job of elevating that uh, papaya and mango to really just identify how fresh that those scent profiles really should be. I think that he absolutely nailed it. Adding leather was such a risk to a scent like this, and he just he just nailed it. Uh, it is one of my favorite scents to come out so far this year. Absolutely something that I'm going to be rocking out in any free time that I have during the summer. Copper John's, Lost Creek, my number one summer scent. Awesome. So guys, that is our top five summer scents. Please leave a comment below. How do you feel about our top fives? Are we way on? Are we way off? But also, what are some of your favorite scents for the summer? Keep in mind, there is no wrong answer or anything like that. Some scents scream winter, some scents scream summer. Just depends who you are and frankly, where you live. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and throw a comment below to let us know. But I think that's it, huh, Joe? Yeah. That's, it. that's the yeah. video. <laughs> that, that, oh, that's it. That is not the, I knew I didn't, didn't feel right. I want to go ahead and give my honorable mention real quick. Okay. This is the second beard product I've ever purchased ever beard oil. It is by bearded Oregon and it is Hermiston. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we did a review yeah. on this one. This is a watermelon scent beard oil. I absolutely love it. Here's the truth. This one is so old. It started going bad, which is not a knock on the company whatsoever. That will happen. So I'm not going to go ahead and smell it because it smells not You've so had that great for over two years. So it's definitely not. Oh yeah. Well over two years yeah, now. So it's definitely um, not bearded Oregon. Yeah. No, it's not bearded Oregon at all. Yeah. Guys, this is a seasonal scent. I think they only have this like May through August, something like that. If they even still do, I haven't checked in a while, but I do love this scent. Obviously, it's a summer scent to Bearded Oregon because it's seasonal as well, only in the summer. So that is my honorable mention. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video as always. That's all the time that we have for you today. As always, keep it growing. And we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.